to all the listeners welcome to 10th of december's holy blessing supreme god father wants us to become a constant yogi yogi in simple terms is somebody who is always in connection with the supreme god father the creator so he wants us to become a karma yogi that means you are doing your karma but when you are doing your karma you are in remembrance of the supreme creator and all his qualities all his powers are there with you so that every karma which you do doesn't have any bondage whether it's a relationship karma whether it's a financial karma whether it's your health physical health related karma every karma which you are doing it doesn't have any kind of effect or it has no bondages that means you're not getting entangled into any kind of karmic accounts with your own body with financial decisions and also with relationships so let's go ahead let's understand what is god's uh, saying over here he says may you be a karma yogi and so a constant yogi that means you are remembering god and you are doing your karma you are asking him for every step that you are taking whether this step or whether this karma or whether this thought which is also karma is going to affect me in the future is going to make me feel lighter or make me feel heavier a constant yogi whose every action is yog yukt and yukti yog two words yog yukt that means in connection with god and that's how you're doing it and yukti yukt means you're doing it in certain manner in which everybody around you is content with what you're doing including yourself so let's go ahead every action of a karma yogi soul is yog yukt and yukti yukt if you perform ordinary or wasteful actions ordinary actions would be getting jealous getting angry getting greedy getting uh, irritated those are the normal things you know what we call it as norms in the world these are the have to be things in the world so as to prosper in life that's what most of the people say but not in the spiritual realm people don't think like this in the spiritual realm they have a different outlook when they get into spirituality they believe that you can get the work done without getting jealous without getting angry without getting irritated without getting frustrated of the situation or of the people So God then says, if you perform ordinary or wasteful actions, that means you're wasting your time, you're wasting other person's time also. Wasteful actions, you cannot be called a constant yogi. That means some way or other, other, you are getting pulled by your physical senses, either your eyes. Let's say you're focusing on something. You got your file in your office. You're supposed to focus on that, and suddenly you hear something, a nice music, and suddenly what happens? Your ears are getting pulled over there. you see somebody going in front of you and you're thinking about that person the file is still in front of you 5 minutes gone 10 minutes gone and that's not a karma yogi that's not a constant yogi that means you are doing wasteful actions at that time so god says to have constant yoga means that the basis of your remembrance is love but you are in constant yoga with god and the work which is right in front of you you are loving yourself you are loving the moment so much that the work itself doesn't feel like a burden in front of you and that is what is required by people who are working in offices people who are working in corporations people who are working in organizations that they need to not be distracted by anything else when they are working when they are putting in the 8 hours they are getting that productivity by being in constant touch with the supreme creator otherwise it's gala time right people are mostly spending time doing gala things they enjoying their life they are getting distracted by things around mobile phones in their hands the work is there file is there right in front of you and things are not moving ahead so god says when you are a karma yogi all those things all those complaints all those moments the slowness the delays in things stop and that's why you are yukti yukt and you yukt rather i would suggest to you if you go somewhere to mount abu and if you check out how the different operations are going on brahma kumaris where they host around 20 to 30000 people at times even sometimes more than that without any complaining without any shouting without any blaming without any anger without any ego and you realize that yes it is possible for organizations to also work in the same manner because they are in yoga or they are in yoga with supreme creator you know yoga means union so god then says to have constant yoga means that the basis of your remembrance is love Whoever is loved is automatically remembered. We are talking about God here. Someone full of love would attract you. Someone full of love would attract you. 
So let your every second, every thought, see every second is important, even thoughts are important, they are like a luxury today. Every second is a luxury, every thought has become a luxury. And every word always be a debated. And let your heart have love for the one father. You will then be called a karma yogi who is a constant yogi and all your karmas will be lighter, will make you feel content, you will have a good night's sleep, no palpitations, no anxiety, no depression. And that's the basis, become a karma yogi. Do your karma by being in connection with God. How do you do that is what you learn in Brahma Kumaris on a daily basis. With more clarity, do go ahead and learn this beautiful art of becoming karma yogi. This is Om Shanti.